Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're tackling a really interesting problem, called best time to buy and sell stock using strategy. It's a bit of a twist on the classic stock trading problems we usually see. This one involves modifying a strategy array to squeeze out the maximum profit. It sounds complex, but we'll break it down step by step and see how a simple prefix sum approach makes it super manageable. Okay, let's look at what we're given. We have two lists. First, a list of prices for a stock on different days. Second, a list called strategy. This strategy list tells us what we originally planned to do on each day. Minus 1 means buy, 0 means hold, and 1 means sell. We are also given an even number. Let's call it K. Here's the catch. We can make at most one change to our strategy. This change involves picking a block of K consecutive days. For the first half of those days, we force the strategy to be hold, 0. For the second half we force the strategy to be sell, 1. Our goal is to pick the best possible block, or maybe no block at all, to get the highest total profit. Let's walk through an example to make this concrete. We have prices 4, 2, and 8. Our strategy is buy, hold, sell. K is 2. First, let's calculate the profit without doing anything. We buy at 4, that's minus 4. Hold at 2, that's 0. And sell at 8, that's plus 8. Total profit is 4. Now, we can pick a window of size 2. Let's try the window covering the first two days, indices 0 and 1. Since K is 2, the first half is just index 0, and the second half is index 1. We change index 0 to hold, and index 1 to sell. Our strategy becomes hold, sell, sell. The new profit? We hold at 4, 0 cost, sell at 2, plus 2, and sell at 8, plus 8. The total is 10. That's way better than 4, so 10 is our answer. Just a quick heads up. We'll be walking through the solution using Python logic, as it's really clean for explaining the math. But don't worry if you use Java, C++ or JavaScript. I've included full solution slides for those languages at the very end of the video so you can just pause and grab the code you need. So how do we solve this efficiently? The naive way would be to check every possible window and recalculate the profit from scratch, but that would be too slow if we have a lot of days. We need a faster way. Notice that for any window we pick, the days before the window and the days after the window don't change at all. Their contribution to the profit stays exactly the same. The only thing that changes is what happens inside that window of size k. This screams prefix sums. If we pre-calculate the running total of profits, we can instantly find the profit for any before or after section. And for the inside section, since we know we're just selling in the second half, we can also use a prefix sum of just the prices to calculate that part quickly. Okay, we've talked about the big picture and the logic. Now let's see what this looks like as actual code. I'll put the full solution up on the screen first. And don't worry, after that, we'll walk through the most important sections together. Alright, here's the full Python code. It's surprisingly short. We basically build two helper arrays and then run a single loop to check our options. Let's break down exactly what those arrays are doing. First, we set up our prefix sum arrays. We make them one size larger than our input list to handle the starting case easily. The list called profit sum keeps a running total of the profit using our original strategy. So at any index it tells us how much money have we made up to this point following the original plan. The list called price sum is simpler. It just keeps a running total of the stock prices themselves. We'll need this because in the second half of our modified window we force a sell action, which means we just add the stock price to our profit. Now for the main logic. We start res with profit sum at n, which represents the profit if we make zero modifications. Then, we loop through every possible window ending at position i. Left profit is everything before our window starts. We get this directly from profit sum. Right profit is everything after our window ends. We get this by taking the total profit and subtracting the profit up to the current point. The change profit is the tricky part. Remember in our window the first half becomes hold, zero profit. And the second half becomes sell, profit equals price. So we just need the sum of prices for that second half. We use our price sum array to calculate that sum in an instant. Finally, we add these three parts together and see if it beats our current best. So how fast is this? For time complexity, it's big O of n, where n is the number of days. We iterate through the list once to build the sums and once more to check the windows. It's very efficient. For space complexity, it's also big O of n because we create those two prefix sum arrays. 
Alright, that covers the main solution in Python. As promised, for those of you who code in other languages, I'm about to show the full solutions for Java, C++, and JavaScript. I won't be breaking these down, so just pause the video on your language of choice to check it out. Alright, as promised, here is the full solution in Java. You can pause the video here to take a closer look at the implementation. Next up, here is the C++ version of the solution. Again, feel free to pause and review the code. And finally, here is the solution in JavaScript. Hopefully, seeing it in a few different languages helps solidify the concepts. So let's wrap it up. The key takeaway here is the power of prefix sums. Whenever you have a problem where you're modifying a middle section of an array and the left and right sides stay static, prefix sums are usually the way to go. They let us query ranges instantly, turning what could be a slow nested loop into a super fast linear scan. All right, before we finish, I want to quickly show you a personal project I built to solve a problem that always drove me crazy. It's an app called My Daily To Do. My biggest frustration with every other to do app was retyping the same things every single day. Go to the gym, review code, work on the daily lead code problem. You know the drill. So I built my app around one simple but powerful idea separating your routine tasks from your one-off tasks. Routine tasks, marked with the little refresh icon, automatically reset for the next day. One-off tasks, like ship new feature, get the little puff of smoke icon, and they disappear for good once you're done. This small change turns a dumb checklist into a smart scheduler. If that sounds useful, you can try it right now on the web. The link is in the description. And one more thing I want to make super clear. Right now, as a thank you for being an early supporter, the app is 100% free. There are no ads, and no subscriptions whatsoever. This means you get access to everything, including really powerful features like presets, which let you save entire task lists and load them with a single tap. Now down the road creating new presets will likely become part of a premium plan to help support the channel, but, and this is the important part, any presets you create now, while it's all free, are yours to keep and use forever. So it's the perfect time to check it out on the web, play with all the features and build out your perfect setup at no cost. If you enjoyed this problem and want to keep practicing, the learning doesn't have to stop here. I've organized all my video solutions into handy playlists. Whether you're looking to grind through more leak code, easy, medium or hard problems, or you want to master a specific topic like sliding window or dynamic programming, I've got a playlist for you. It's the perfect way to focus your study sessions. Go to the playlist tab and find a playlist that fits your goals. Also, if you're looking for even more leak code problems beyond the daily challenge, I've started a second channel called Leak Code Unlocked. It's where I'll be posting solutions to a ton of other problems, so if you're serious about your interview prep, be sure to check it out. The link is in the description below. Hope this leak code solution breakdown made sense. If it helped, give that like button a click, maybe subscribe for more, or drop a comment if you have questions. Make sure to turn on the notification bell so you know straight away when I upload a video because I upload videos daily. If you want to support the channel, a few people have asked how I plan my solutions. I'm a big fan of sketching out the logic and data structures on a tablet before I code. It really helps. I've put affiliate links in the description to the tablet I use and a few other good options. Using those links doesn't cost you anything extra but really helps me out. Or if you're feeling generous, there's always the Boba Fund. Keep coding, and I'll catch you in the next one.